haven't shot the video in a while. I haven't shot a video at all on this project. So, uh, essentially, I'm going to be making a, a flying V out of this wood. I've got some beautiful silver maple from Rack and Sack. Uh, so, call out to them. Uh, I've got some beautiful purple heart from uh, Woodcraft. And I actually get some more of that coming. I actually have a neck coming from Warmoth that's also in that purple heart. Uh, so anyway, uh, the reason I'm having this video is because it took me forever to take some raw slabs. Uh, that's actually that, these were actually two different slabs. I cut them in half, uh, and it's so I could run them through the planer. So I got this through the planer. Thickness planed, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, today's effort was pretty daunting. Essentially, it's cutting a giant rabbit out because I want this purple heart to run all the way down the length of the guitar. I don't know if you can see the marks on it or not, but it's going to be a flying V eventually. But I can't really cut it out or do anything until I get this purple heart in here. And that took a ton of whittling. <laughs> Just... Just saying, uh, an absolute just ton of whittling to get that done. Those, I really need a shoulder plane. <laughs> Did a great job with my planes, uh, but they don't run all the way to the edge. So if you if you look at the, at the if you look at the plane, it doesn't actually run all the way to the edge uh, on either of these planes. And so that leaves you a bevel in the corner that, and I had to get out carving tools and chisels, and I do have like this little funky, stupid little toy shoulder plane I used a little bit. Uh, man, rasps, used a lot of rasps. Anyway, finally just now uh, got this thing in there. Um, it looks pretty nice, actually. I'm pretty tickled. Not real sh happy about some of the seams, but once I glue it up, if that wood swells, it'll look okay, I think. And then uh, at the same time, I can always fill it with epoxy or something. I probably will. I'll just fill in if there's any gaps. I'll fill them in with epoxy. Anyway, so that was quite a bit of work. Um, I've never made a guitar... Uh, body before I've, I've customized guitars before but uh, they were always existing uh, I've never made a guitar body before so this is certainly a learning curve for me on a lot of stuff I already got lots of parts uh, here the neck won't come in for another six weeks or so but uh, this will be really pretty I don't know if you can see I mean I haven't even sanded this yet but I don't know if you can see the citroyance or not uh, on this uh, that's where the colors change kind of like those old toys uh, that yeah you can kind of see it there you can see the the colors change anyway uh, and some beautiful beautiful curl unfortunately the curls down here where it's going to get cut off so um, get some pretty curl all through this so the next step here is to pull this back out <laughs> just now got it in there uh, and get the glue up done. I got to get uh, something to hold it here in the middle uh, So I can I can hold it down there um, But certainly I can clamp the edges. So anyway, I got some glue up done. I'll take some pictures There, there you go